Now, what I'd like to know is, um, a scene that you'd never in all your life ever made a film before Kane, and had never, so far as I'm aware, been in a studio before, That's true. before Kane, um, quite apart <coughs> from how you landed this contract, which was a, a result of enormous notoriety at the time and other gifts, if notoriety <laughs> is a gift, uh, what I'd like to know is how did I know, you get really, I must interrupt you. I got that good a contract because I didn't really want to make a film. Well, you better develop that. And you know, when you don't really want to go out to Hollywood, or at least this was true in the old days, or the golden days of Hollywood, when you honestly didn't want to go, yes. then, then the deals got better and better. In my case, I didn't want money. I wanted authority. So I asked the impossible, hoping to be left alone. And at the end of a year's negotiations, I got it. Yes. Simply right. because there was no real vocation there. To, my, my love for films began only when we started work. Now, what, I, what I'd like to know is, where did you get the confidence from to make ignorance. a film with such... Ignorance. Sheer ignorance. You know, there's no confidence to equal it. It's only when you know something about a profession, I think, that you're timid or careful. How or does ignorance show itself? I thought you could do anything with a camera that the eye could do or the imagination could do. And if you come up from the bottom in the film business, you're taught all the things that the cameraman doesn't want to attempt for fear he will be criticized for having failed. Yes. And in this case, I had a cameraman who didn't care if he was criticized if he failed, and I didn't know that there were things you couldn't do. So I, anything I could think up in my dreams, I attempted to photograph. You got away with enormous technical advances, didn't you? Simply by not knowing that they were impossible, or theoretically impossible. Yeah. And of course, again, I had a, a, a great advantage, not only in the real genius of my cameraman, but in the fact that he, like all great men, I think, who are masters of a craft, told me right at the outset that there was nothing about camera work that I couldn't learn in half a day, that any intelligent person couldn't learn in half a day. And he was right true an awful lot of things. Of all, uh, you know, of, ev of every, uh, you know, the, the great mystery that requires 20 years uh, doesn't exist in any field. Mm. And certainly not in the camera. Mm. It's the most overrated mystery on earth, you know. <laughs> and I was lucky enough to be told that by the absolute best living cameraman. Yes. It's like a doctor. You know, very good doctors often tell you, you know, we really don't know anything much about medicine. And I've noticed an awful lot of good doctors do talk that way. But only the very good ones. You don't believe them, of course. I do, implicitly. I don't think we know much. <laughs>